Hey guys, how's it going? This is the nail art tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do today. It is more stamping. Woohoo! I'm using the original Bundle Monster image plates as well as one Conad, which is an optional plate. Um, and uh, yeah, so if you guys want to know how to do this, then just keep watching. I've already applied my base coat and I used Rimmel's Quick Dry Base Coat. I've let that dry and the first plate I'm going to be using is Bundle Monster 20. This is from the original Bundle Monster image plate set. And I'm using this diagonal line one here. And so I'm going to be starting with the blue that's on the underside. And for that I used Pacific Blue by Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. So I'm going to apply this on the plate. And for something like this it's definitely important to note what direction you're scraping in because the lines go in this direction you don't want to be scraping in that direction because the blade will just kind of like sink into the lines so you want to go along the length of the lines like so. And I'm just going to pick that up with my stamper and I'm just going to roll that onto my finger. And I did miss a little bit, so I think I will try and fix that. Okay, so I just got a Q-tip with some nail polish remover just to clean off the rest of that there. And I'm going to just do that again and just try and match up those lines at the side. And it's actually going to be really... If you can't get this matched up perfectly, that's going to be okay because the yellow is going to go on top and it'll hide um, if you don't quite make it match up perfectly. So, all right, let's see how we can do this while you guys can see it on camera. Normally I will just hold it like this and just kind of line it up and just roll and just guess. Oh, that was pretty perfect, awesome. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to remove the rest of this polish that's on there. All right, so I'm going to be using this plate again and because I'm going to be using a different color and a lighter color, I'm just going to give this a quick wipe with a Q-tip that's been soaked in nail polish remover. Okay. Next I'm going in with Conad Special Yellow. I think it's just called Yellow. And I got this from wowsocool.com. Um, they do have a coupon code right now for 20% off. I will link that in the description box below. I think it expires at the end of August or September or something, 2011. So I'm going to scrape that yellow off, pick it up. Okay, with the yellow, I'm going to... Previously with the blue, I kind of lined it up this way, so it went lengthwise with my nail. With the yellow, I'm going to make it go in the horizontal direction, and I'm going to try and make it so the bottom of this line lines up with the middle of my nail. So, let's do that, roll it on. That was weird. That was really weird. I don't care. <laughs> um, if you guys have any like imperfections, that's not a problem. We will cover those up. Thus, those little stars. Kind of just place them strategically along the seams. Okay, and I'm going to go over and do this again, and I will place the stamp this time on the bottom half of my nail, so I can get full coverage with the yellow stripes. Okay, and I'm literally just kind of like eyeballing it trying to make the stripes line up as I roll them one at a time so they line up. Alright, not too bad. I've got a little bit of a seam, but that will be easy to hide. Okay, and I'm just going to clean that with my nail polish remover. And just quickly do the same thing with my scraper here. Okay, good enough for now. All right. And for those stars, I used two um, image plates. I used this one from the original, original Bundle Monster set. This is Bundle Monster 14. I should probably clean that so you guys can see it. So I used this one right here. And I also used this one. This is a Conad plate. This is Conad M3. And I'm using these stars right here. 
I like this guy because it's got an open star. You can also use this one over there too if you have this image plate. Otherwise, you can just stick to this one. That's totally fine. Okay, and for the black, I am using Gosh Nail Polish in Nero. It's a really nice opaque black. Okay, just apply it on there. And I'm going to be placing these, I'll probably place this guy right in the corner where I messed up. Actually, no, I changed my mind. I'll put these guys right along the seam. Okay. And I'm going to do that again. Sorry, I feel all over the place right now. I don't know what the heck's going on. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing and I'll just place it, I don't know, somewhere on the other side. Good. And now I'm going to use this one from Bundle Monster Plate 14. And this one I'm going to concentrate on that little area that I messed up on. Okay. And there you go. Um, the bottom part of my nail is a little bare, but I don't actually really mind that, so I'm just going to leave that. And the last thing I'm going to do is apply top coat. I'm using Sally Hanston Insta Dry Anti Chip Top Coat. With any top coat when using stamping, you absolutely want to make sure that you have lots of top coat on your brush and that you're using a very, very gentle touch. Otherwise you'll smear like I did with that nail. But I was using a different top coat that does not have a flexible brush. And I just smeared my star, no! All right, close enough. I think that still looks pretty dang good. And that is the final look. Um, yeah, it's pretty fun and easy, a little punky and funky. So hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.